I put a video out there and it was like a fact or myth about is leasing throwing away money. And there was a lot of comments that asked, hey, I wanna see the math. So I wanted to use a BMW for this situation, but you can hit me up in the comments and request different cars. And I'd be happy to try to do several videos on this and how it works out. But today we're gonna to do one on a 2025 BMW 3 Series. This is a vehicle that we sell a lot of. We're gonna first do a breakdown as if you were going to buy this car brand new. The MSRP is $53,000. And how we're gonna do this is we're gonna show you two cycles of a lease versus one cycle of a purchase. We broke it down for a six year loan. On this car, it would be $935. Now I base that payment off of a 7% interest rate. And if we do the math on that with interest, you're coming out to $67,350. You're still gonna have three years of maintenance. We're gonna do maintenance on the four year, the five year and the six year. AI suggests that it is an average of $600 a year for maintenance that comes to $1,800. You're also gonna have a couple different repairs during that time. And AI also said in year five and six, you can expect to spend another $2,500. Also, there's gonna be wear and tear. There's gonna be things like brakes, rotors, sensors, and tires. In that situation, if I wanted to keep my car in good working condition, we're coming in at $5,000 total. And then keep in mind, when you purchase, you do have sales tax. State of Nebraska, we have 7%. That comes out to $3,710. Total purchase amount, 80,360. That's a big, big number. I used AI and they said that 42.3% was what this car is gonna be worth six years from now with about 70,000 miles. That's 20,000. 573. So yes, you're going to own the car, but it's only going to have a retained value of that. So for that reason, I subtracted it from your total expenses, bringing you down to 59,787. If I compare it to a lease, you can take the 1.2 to 1.5% of the MSRP. In this case, I used the middle number. I used a 1.35 and I came to 689 a month. If I do 689, times 36 months, that's 24,804. There's no additional expenses for maintenance. There's no additional expenses for tires or brakes. Your taxes are already included. We're gonna run two cycles of this. The total expense, 49,608. If I compare that to this number, 59,787, I'm saving about $10,000 over the course of six years. The average person that leases, they get out of their car at 31 months. The person that purchases a car, they have all this additional expense. You know when the average person comes out of their purchase? 30 nine months. So there's not that much of a gap between 31 and 39 months, and you could have saved yourself at least sales tax. Hit me up in the comments if you have questions about different makes and models. I could try to do the math on those as well, just to help you guys make good decisions.